What's up guys, welcome to the next video. Um, I want to start off by saying that the Back to Basic episodes will come weekly. Um, and it will just be one single episode, but they're going to be in-depth uh, as to my training, my diet, my nutrition, how I um, progress everything, how I add my calories in, where I add my calories into my macros, um, how I add my weights, how I go about progressing my weights. Uh, these will be the big long videos that will come once a week. Uh, but in between this, I'll still do my normal stuff. So I'll do how to do, um, right now I'm going to be doing how to do uh, sumo deadlifts. Uh, but you know, I'll do other things as well, like the best two exercises for chest, arms, all those kind of things. And they'll keep coming in between the back to basic videos. Anyway, moving on, we're going to go on to the sumo deadlift. Um... The sumo deadlift for me is has been a revelation. I've I've always always done conventional deadlifts, and I've always had a really a really weak lower back. Um, I've always had quite a lot of low lower back problems. I don't know whether it's because I'm taller or my arms are are longer or maybe my body just suits the sumo better. But as soon as I did the sumo, no exercise had ever felt as 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 right as doing the sumo. So the first things first when you want to do a sumo deadlift. You don't, you don't want to end up going too wide. That's a mistake a lot of people do is they'll go too wide and it will put too much stress on their adductors. So I tend to use the little rings as a, as a go-to because that's just where I've, that, where I've learned it. Uh, you want to turn the insides of your legs to almost to the insides of your shins, the, that big long bone down the front. You want to turn it, turn your feet out so that the bar is flat against there. Um, that just allows you to really use your glutes, hamstrings, adductors, and you can really power through. Um, so once you set yourself up, I'd probably say about a foot, so half a foot either side, outside of shoulder width. That will be different for everyone, so it will be a little bit of playing around to find what's comfortable for you. Um, but as soon as you set yourself up, you want to turn your feet out, get the bar facing those shins so your feet are nicely turned out. You want to ground your heels. The bar needs to be pulled really, really close to, the, to your shins, guys, and out the front of your legs, the whole lift. Um, moving on. So once we've set ourselves at the feet, we turn our feet out so they face the bar. We sit down so you can grab the bar. You can either do under over or you can do double over. I tend to do double over until probably about 140 kilos and then and then I'll swap over that's just personal preference just so I get a little bit of grip training in there um, you'll lower your hips pretty much to a parallel if not lower if you can get there you want to keep your chest up nice and high your lower back up until the top of your head needs to be an absolutely straight line so if I've got a broomstick or a handle and I put it across the top of your head down to the bottom of your spine it is dead straight it doesn't need to be bent anywhere as soon as you kind of bend your back in the middle that's when the lifts gonna injure yourself and you really really need to not do that so you're gonna sit back you're gonna load up the glutes so you're gonna put all of the pressure on the outside of the foot you're gonna pull the bar in nice and close to you um, and you're literally just gonna sit back push through the outsides of your of your feet that's going to put all the power through the glutes the hamstrings as you come up the hips are going to come through and you're going to pull through with the back um it's a great great posterior chain lift uh it's really good for posture it's really good for power um and it's generally just help help my glutes grow and it's really helped my squat as well so from the start we're going to set our feet about a half foot outside of shoulder width apart that's just for me could be different for you guys uh, we're going to turn our feet out so the bar faces the inside of our shins. We're going to come down. We're going to grab the tension of the bar. We're going to sit our hips nice and low, almost a parallel, sitting back as much as we can get it so we can really load up the glutes. You want to open up the chest as much as you can. So you want to pull, retract the scapulas, pull it nice and tight. Make sure that, you're, that, you're, that your chest is trying to face up as much as possible. Not No problem if you can't get up as much as, mo as most people. That's just because they're more flexible in the hips and the ankles. Um, but as much as you can, sit your hips nice and low, keep your back nice and taut, take a deep breath, breathe into your stomach, hold the core in nice and nice and tight, and you're just going to explode up, put as much power as you can down on the outside of your feet, down into your glutes, into your hamstrings, maybe a little bit quads at the top, and you're going to pull through with your back at the top. Um, I hope that explained well enough, along with the videos that you saw 
side by side at the front and at the, and at the back as well. Um, it's a new movement for me, so if you guys do have any techniques and tricks for me to improve my sumo deadlift, please let me know, um, as I'm always looking to improve as well. I hope this guy, I hope this video helped, guys. I will see you. The next video will probably be will, will definitely be a back to the basics um, training video. So I'm going to explain how we do the training, all that kind of stuff, how we structure it, and all that jazz. Anyway, guys, peace and love. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.